What do you think of my front yard? Hey, I'd like to do a demo on how to do the washing off-grid, off-solar in a standard caravan with an automatic washing machine. Okay, just got to fill up these tanks. Got the hose rigged up, which is running from the ute down to the caravan. Get the siphon going. Now I can fill that going. Okay. Get that into there. That'll fill up nicely. This is a near new caravan. And in it, we have an automatic washing machine. This is a fairly standard sort of setup. Has a positive pressure line coming in. It's 240 volt. It's around 35 litres capacity. Does about 2.5 to 3 kilos of washing, or 3.2 kilos, as it says here. And it chews through quite a lot of water and power when it's in use. It's really designed for the use in caravan parks, not off-grid. This washing machine will use about 35 litres of water for each cycle. So it'll first go through a wash cycle, so it'll fill up with 35 litres of water, go through its agitation cycle, drain out, it'll then fill up with a rinse cycle, that's another 35 litres of water, drain that out, spin dry, and then your clothes are done. So you get 3.2 kilos of clothes done, for 70 litres of water. Now, I don't know about most guys, but that's a lot of water. You might be able to do one, maybe two loads of washing from your caravan tanks, so it's totally impractical. And the fact that it runs on 240 volt uh, means you can only do it in caravan parks. But we really want to be independent of caravan parks and of power and of an ongoing water supply. So we've worked out a way of using this off-grid. So here I have a 1000 watt inverter. And a line which is connected onto my batteries by Anderson plugs. And here, I just have a little meter so we can determine the amperage and current flow that's actually being used. You don't need this to do the job, but this is just uh, for your information. Okay, it's on. And here we have our readings, including the most important one, Amperage usage. Okay, so we run an extension cord from the inverter. So, the other end over to the washing machine, like so, and hopefully we have power. Yeah, chucking in some dirty washing. Careful not to overload. Okay, so the trick to this is to not allow it to drain. So we go to the water level setting first and set it to high level of water. Then we've got the ability to set the actual cycle. So we just set it straight to the first wash cycle up here. And then we press start. Okay, now we have water flowing into the trough. Now we just have to wait until that fills up. So we're a bit closer to being filled up. So this is where I get this wool wash. Get about three or four caps of this and pour it into the machine. When we use the wool wash is that you only need to do a single cycle with it. You know, with normal powder, you've got to do a wash cycle, then rinse it out with wool wash. You only need a single cycle that can leave it in your clothes. There we go. Now she's running. Eight minutes left on the timer. Close the lid. Ok, 
Okay, as you can see, it's fluctuating between around 19 amps and about 9 amps as it goes through the agitation cycle. And it will be doing that for around 8 minutes. Okay, so the load's just finished, but because we only set it to the wash cycle, the machine hasn't drained out any of the water. So the next step is we come over to the machine. We need to get ourselves a bucket. Open it up and we bring out the items one at a time and we wring them out, trying to wring a reasonable amount of that water back into the machine so we can conserve it. So with all the items out and wrung out, I just put them into the shower base and leave them sitting there. Now if we have a look down inside the well, the water level has dropped roughly 5 to 10 litres worth, which is what we lost from the clothes that we took out. So that's about what we're going to use per load. So it's initial 35 litres to fill up, and then about 5 to 10 litres lost per load. Then we put the next load in. So next load is in. Machine on. Water level to high. Preset to wash cycle only. Start. It will then refill with water fill up that extra missing five litres or so and then go through the next wash cycle. So this is my solar controller we have a look at what's coming in and you can see on the bottom right is amps in around about 10 amps coming into the system so it's bringing in enough power to actually run the whole system without using much. So machine has stopped it hasn't drained itself. Okay, so this is the last load. Here's all the wet stuff we've been through. This is five loads in total. Four loads sitting here in the shower. And I put it in here because the wet stuff still drips and some of the water can actually flow out through the base of the shower. And the final load, which is the towels. Okay, this is the final load of towels finished. So now we're going to go through the spin cycle. Machine on. And then we move this cycle to the spin cycle. And it's very important to make sure the water is turned off. Because if the machine goes out of balance, this one will kick straight into the rinse cycle and then refill the tub with water and drain the tanks, which is definitely not what we want. Let's see what happens. So, she starts draining. as it spins up, keep an eye on it to make sure it stays in balance. If it starts knocking too much, we need to open it up and adjust the load. Here we go in a four minute spin cycle. Okay, so it's running continuously. If we have a look at the power draw on the spin cycle. There's a continuous 18 amps, so it's drawing a lot of power. Luckily it's not doing it for very long. Okay, so first spin cycle's just finished. Just let her spin down. So I grab out our clothes, which are reasonably dry, ready for hanging. Put them in the basket. Then we get our next load of clothes. Load them into the machine, try and get them relatively even. Okay. 
set the spin cycle, start her up. And we just keep an eye on it to make sure that it spins properly. Not too bad. And then we just keep going like this, cycling all the wet clothes back through the spinner in the machine, into the laundry basket, and then we hang them up. Just another day in paradise.